Hey guys, Grimmy Dragon here, and yes, it's been quite a while, I know. But, uh, yeah, we're back. Occasionally. <laughs> Can't guarantee a more steady schedule, but uh, I will give you what I can when I can. And today we are looking at the Masters of the Universe Origins, He-Man and Skeletor. I'm getting both of these guys done at once. Because they're very, they're very similar. So, yeah, we're going to be doing these uh, as often as we can. I was a fan of Masters of the Universe Classics. I never really got into the original Motu line, although I've had friends who did. But, uh, yeah, never got into it myself. So, anyway, we got He-Man here and we have Skeletor. Looking quite nice in their packaging. It's a very vintage style Masters of the Universe. Uh, does say new for 20. 20 modern posing went through play. And they both have a comic book included, which is the same comic. That's a bummer. Uh, I've, from what I understand, in the vintage days, each character had their own mini comic unique to them. And since uh, WWE Universe, or Masters of the WWE Universe, is actually doing individual comics, one would think they would too. But, as it is what it is, and let's do a quick comparison with a Masters of the Universe Classics package. Uh, I have uh, King Grayskull in the box still. And as you can see, aside from King Grace Skull being a bit dusty still, I tried to dust them off, but what can you do? You got very different style. Uh, you got the green bricks of the classics versus the uh, red and blue of the more original vintage style. And I kind of like that uh, vintage style a little bit better. On the back, yeah, you got these incredible artworks of He-Man and Skeletor. Got He-Man on Grey Skull. And the lights are shining. Yeah, with the uh, mystical power sword, the mighty He-Man protects Eternia from forces of evil. And the nefarious overlord Skeletor wants to control the power within Castle Grey Skull. And I love that artwork. That is gorgeous. And then you got the uh, cross cell. And those are actual drawings of the figures, not the figures themselves, which is nice. And then you got the uh, action features, which is basically, hey, you can hold the weapons and pose around. Yeah. So that's about it for these guys here. And. And honestly, it's nice packaging. If you wanted to keep these mint in card, that would be a good option. <laughs> but uh, I'm not that type, so it's time to crack these guys open. Cut! So, yeah, we have now a cut. Action. All right, so here we have them out of the packaging, looking really nice. I do like my figures. They are really good. I got them posed to look as close to the originals as I could. 
Although Skeletor has a little defect in his knee where it wasn't quite put in right. As you can see, it's kind of separating right there. Uh, the peg just seems like it wasn't put in correct. I'll have to get the hair dryer and try to fix that later, but otherwise they are looking quite nice. Uh, you've got your classic uh, look. He-Man's got his uh, teeth in the back for his sword or axe, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But the colors are very bright. They pop. They <laughs> look good. You'll be able to see these guys wherever you put them. Are not going to be hard to find. But He Man's got his uh, bracers, he's got the belt all in that nice orange, little yellow on the boots, and the good old brown for the boots. And you got the sculpted in uh, wraps, but they're just not painted. And of course, he's got his iron cross on the front. That's looking pretty good. Head sculpt is more toward the cartoon, although he is more rugged, and that is pretty cool. I like him. And of course, you gotta love Skeletor. The blue is nice and bright. He's got the purple on his armor, on his boots. Black line cloth, of course. But, uh, yeah, on the back, definitely more retro style than. The uh, Classics version, which I'll go into a little later, but still looking pretty good. I do love that skull face. He's got that open screaming, Eh, he man, I'll get you! <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty cool. And yes, the sculpted detail is very nice as well. But for articulation, they have the same articulation. you got a ball-jointed head. Moves all around, very emotive. You got your uh, universal shoulders. They do move at an angle though, just keep that in mind. Yep. Swivel at the elbow. You got about 90 degree of movement at the elbow. Got a swivel at the wrist and in and out at the wrist. Swivel at the waist. Ball jointed hips, swivel at the knee, bend at the knee, swivel at the boot, forward backward at the ankle, and pivot at the ankle. Yep. And yeah, they're pretty cool there. Now, a nice feature is that these guys are kind of customizable, as you can pull off the, pull them apart. And pull out the wrist. And the boots. Like so, and Skeletor, what did you do to He-Man? <laughs> yeah, you can make a complete mess. And since the uh, WWE classics, or WWE uh, He-Man figures work the same way, you can totally mix and match those. So... Take Stinger apart. And then you can take uh, Sting's boots, put them on He Man. Give him a Sting shirt. And yeah, the skin colors don't quite match, but whatever. E-Man's got more of a tan than the Stinger. Oh, 
But yeah, you can totally customize these guys however you want. Now, I'm going to just switch this back. Now, you can also take the armor off of these guys. Although, for He-Man, you do got to pull the waist off. So, you can have your He-Man uh, go full Barbarian. If you want. Although, I think I'll just keep the... Uh, armor on yeah okay there we go that's harder to get on than it is to get off <laughs> Galator can do the same thing like I said you got Latches there, you got a latch there, and you got a latch for the waist bit. But we're not going to bother with that. Dang. Now for accessories, <laughs> He-Man has quite a bit. He has his axe, which is just done in gray plastic, nothing special. Mine has a little bit of mold flash on it. There we go, that's better. So you got an axe, which he can hold. Quite easy. Good. He has his shield, which you can uh, just run through his fingers, much like the old vintage toy, and just clip onto his arm. And you're good to go there. And of course, put this in the back. Now, you got your power sword, or Half a power sword, much like the vintage toy, which only had, had He-Man and Skeletor using half a power sword each, which can combine. And the power sword is done in a silver plastic for He-Man. Although while Skeletor does get his half of the power sword, it is not done in a silver plastic or a metallic plastic. It's done in a just a flat purple. Something's happening outside. Current year. No. Luckily they do have these little guard hand guard things which you can you're supposed to be able to use to loop it in like that okay it's very difficult because I'm reaching over the camera and here we got his havoc snaff it's just fine and yeah Skeletor's weapons pretty simple he's got his havoc staff and his half of the power sword which looks good. All he really needs is his Havoc Staff, though. That's all he ever used. Well, actually, no, he used a cooler sword than what he got here. Yes, I think the um, Gwen Sword that the 2000X Skeletor got was cooler looking than this Power Sword. Even though this is in the nice Alcala style. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said... Two halves of the power sword can unite. Become one power sword that splits at the top. Yeah, that was a problem that the vintage one had, that the classics attempt at this had. 
Although when they got to Keldor and King Grace, they managed to fix it. So, yeah, it's a thing. A little hair dryer action probably will fix that. You can put that in He-Man's hand. Now he's got the full power sword. Which is pretty cool. And I'll just keep him like that for now. So, I guess we should do some comparisons. Back this camera up a little bit. Because some of these are going to be taller. Old bonehead there. Uh, we'll get. First, we'll do the classics. Because I don't have vintage um, Masters of the Universe classics. Um, Masters of the Universe figures. So we'll get classic Skeletor, who does have a loose grip on his Havoc staff. It's nice that he has a better grip. And then we'll bring in classics He Man. And yeah, I did mix and match parts to get these guys looking more like the vintage action figures. So Skeletor does have the body with the monster boots and arms. And the battle armor Skeletor head. Get that thing to face forward. Well, He-Man does have the um, action figure style head that came with uh, the um, Ular figure. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, we'll bring Stinger back. Because, yeah, he's in the same style. And just for fun, we'll bring in the uh, Funko Thundercats uh, Savage World. Mumra, ever living source of evil. And Lanano, Lord of the Thundercats. And yeah, same scale, um, because uh, they don't have to squat, they might stand a little taller than these guys, but that's because these guys have their legs in that permanent squat pose, and they don't have the same articulation as the Origins figures. But all in all, I am still very happy with these guys. Get these out. Now, last but not least, I guess I should talk about the comic book. I haven't read it yet, but the artwork looks good. And, yeah, it's very simple. You know, pretty straightforward. Not all that stuff. <laughs> looks pretty good. I like it. I'll have to read it to know for certain, but uh, maybe in a future review, if I go, come back to this, I'll take a look into that more. But anyway, hope you like this video. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know, it helps the channel. Uh, subscribe, that definitely helps the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. So until then, take care.